do you find yourself struggling to achieve a well cupped bustier and have you ever wondered what could be the cause of that one of the causes is your bustier not being well padded so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to pad a bustier properly so please hit that subscribe button as we get started welcome to my youtube channel great soul family so one of the major things you need to understand when padding a bustier is that your bustier must be well drafted and i have a video on that i have series of videos on how to draft a bustier so after that you'll be able to understand how to pad your bustier well here is the material i'll be using and it is called a wording and i'm making use of a thick wording so in most cases i make use of a thick wording for my bustier whether for big size or small size because it gives you that structure i love and i folded the wording into two and i placed my side front bustier on it and traced out the shape we are still going to be modifying it so the first thing to do is from your bust point you come in by either 4.5 inches or 5 inches then you sketch it into your under bust also one of those things that help your um, bustier to be well padded is you stop at your under bust then from the upper part you come down by one inch and using your free hand you try to make a curve until the curve is perfect you just have to keep sketching when you are satisfied you cut it the reason why we always do some certain things is because it shouldn't get into the same allowance and it also have to give it that curvy shape that curve so also another thing i do is i always cut off half inches away from the seam allowance of the side front remember we're going to sew this so that way to give it a relaxed look so now i'm going to set it aside so i can work on the center front bustier pattern so i'm going to place it on my wording like so then i'm going to try to trace it out so from the upper part i already came down by one inch like so the way i'm cutting it i've gauged it in a way that i've come down by one inch you notice that it is a bit lower so like that i've come down by the one inch like the way we did on the side front then i'm going to trace out the under bust point your wording should stop at your under bust so when you are drafting your booster you would have notched that point where your under bust stopped though i didn't notch it but i was able to get it then also i'll trace the other sides also then i will rearrange them like so so remember that i said i always trim off half inch of the wording so that because i don't want my wording to get into the seam allowance so i always trim half inch off like this and this is what we have so now i'm going to arrange the side front like so look at the way i'm arranging them and any part that needs to be adjusted i'm going to adjust it because i want my cup to come out perfectly well so when you are arranging it try to make sure that it is the part that looks like it is shining that is facing the wrong side of your fabric because that's where the gum is another thing i do so i won't forget that i have cut off my half inch is that i pin the wording down so this way it will help me it like to serve as a guide for me while ironing i don't have to start rearranging again and again so after pinning i'll go ahead to iron it i've ironed it already and this is what it looks like so now for the sewing you arrange your bustier pattern from the down part and then you start arranging as you sew so here yeah, it is i have gone ahead to join them i've not even ironed or notched it and it is already giving it a beautiful structure already so you have to clip the under bust like so you have to clip it but make sure it doesn't get into the seam allowance then for the curvy part of the bustier you will notch it look at the way i am arranging the clothes like this is the right way to notch your bustier not the other way around so you hold it you fold it like so a little bit but please make sure it doesn't get into the seam allowance this way it will help those curves to like when you tuck the bustier in the curves will relax well so now i'll go and use my bust arm to iron it i have a video on how to do that and i have a video on how to make your tailor's arm so here is the end result you can see those parts that i notched you can see how the seam relaxed inside after it has been ironed i hope you learned something new see you in my next video till then keep winning